The New Thought Movement has helped people achieve a better understanding of divine mysteries through the power of their thinking and through meditation, prayer. The term New Thought signified that one's thought could unlock secrets to living a better life, free from constraints of religious doctrines and dogmas. The mind has the power to heal. Illness is a matter of the mind. What are we doing about this challenge here? With the knowledge in our hands and the willingness to actively step out of denial, we would suggest in our own lives that we learn to be relevant. It doesn't matter if I'm 60 something or you're 50 something or you're 70 something. It doesn't matter. To be relevant, you have to be current. And to be current, you have to have the willingness to learn. And you have to have the willingness to learn and step out of your comfort zone and, and sometimes push yourself a little bit. I was taught in religious science years ago that, you know, this teaching is about stretching. It means stretching outside of everything you've known and stepping forward to do something different. Because the thing about life is life goes forward with you or without you. And if you want to be on the cutting edge of anything, you've got to do your part. You've got to take the course. Life is a lifelong learning process. And right now, it's no different than it's ever been before. There's new things on the table, new things to deal with, and new things to embrace. I've always maintained from the teaching, if it's in my life, it's in my consciousness, and it's there, there's something for me to address. So there's no point in cursing what's here and talking about ain't it awful or poor me because that's not what we do. We understand that everything that happens in life is here for us to grow and to evolve and it's happening for us, not to us. Each week we are to aim for the heart. Each week we're here to let people know how wonderful they are. Each week we're here to remind people of the truth of who they are that they exist as pure potential, that they are one with the one. Each and every message is, is targeted and its purpose is to let you know of the truth of you, the greatness of you. I've got to go out there and I want to go out there, cause you to remember that you are one with the one and you have everything that you possibly could ever need. Keep pointing people to the mystery. Keep pointing people to the truth of who they are. The greatest mystery of life is that spark of divinity which is within you. And, and you're always looking for something outside of you where in the end you realize there is no place like home. In home, in you, is what you're looking for. Pointing them toward the awareness of presence. Presence in them. A love, an energy operating through them that's always wooing always guiding, always, always trying to get your attention. The truth that you know that God in you is in you operating through you as you is something that is one of the best kept secrets of all time.